Morning, everybody. As you can tell, this is our new house behind me already. I'm in my office. I have an office. The thing is, I need to catch up on my sleep a little bit because uh, not only did we move and unpack, though we didn't move the heavy stuff, so that was it. It could have been worse. We moved. Uh, we also have a seven month old who, the first couple of nights in the new house here, didn't want to sleep all the way through the night. So. Now he's doing good already, sleeps full like eight to 10 hours every night. Like usual, he's a good baby. But uh, <coughs> all of the uh, the moving and unpacking, we're not nearly done unpacking. I wanted to have everything unpacked before I even uh, did the house tour for you guys. But I don't think that's gonna happen. It's gonna take weeks for us to unpack. And Britt's stepmom is coming by next weekend, I think, and I think her mom her sister's coming down. I don't know, she has some help. So that when I'm on the road, she has some help to get things put away and settled in. Because I'm not much help in that anyways, because all I do is I pick up a box and I go to her and I'm asking, where's this go? Where's this go? Where's this go? Where do you want this? Where do you want this? Because <laughs> for me, I really don't care where, where things go, as long as they go in their proper place. So she can decide where they go. I guess this is the biggest sneak peek you've gotten of the house yet. I've been, I've been trying to wait to do that house tour till we were fully settled in, but that's not gonna happen. I, I, don't, I can't wait that long to uh, show you guys where we're at. Cause you're gonna see it in the background of all my vlogs anyways, right? So I wanted to do like a full one tour. So you guys sort of get an idea of the layout of where my vlogs, I guess the set, the Trucker Josh set. <laughs> I've been to other YouTubers' homes before and I, I feel like I'm on a set sometimes and it's, it's just their home. So I like to give you guys an idea of, you know, when, I'm, when I say I'm in my office, you know, oh, he's in his office. It's, you know, it's beside the, the, the family, family room over there and the playroom over there. If I say we're in the playroom, you sort of have an idea in your head of what I'm talking about. It makes a little bit more sense in the vlogs. That's why I want to do a little, little house tour. Uh, I'll show you guys the backyard and stuff and where the dogs will be running around and so you get an idea of what's coming in the future. So that video is still coming. Probably uh, either tomorrow or the next day. You'll see I'm still putting these together now. I'm still catching up with everything. We, we don't have everything unpacked and uh, it won't be all unpacked by the time I show you guys around, but eh, we'll get there, right? But in today's video, uh, this was us getting ready in the last couple days. I think we start off with two days to the move and then we end off with one day to the move. It's not much to show you, but it sort of shows you where our minds were at and how we were just overwhelmed. You'll see the amount of boxes just in the shop and in the house. Oh, we had to get that all over here, get that all packed up. Britt did an amazing job with a lot of the packing too, because uh, she, she does, uh, she wrapped everything to make sure it didn't break. Whereas when I pack things, they seem to break. I don't know. I've moved too many times. I've moved too many times. I know that when you move, things break and things get damaged. And a couple of our things did get damaged by the movers. We were a little disappointed by that because we paid a lot of money for this stuff and we hired them to make to move it and not damage it. Right? That's what my job is too. I'm a truck driver. When people hire me to move their stuff, they're not only paying me to move their stuff, they're paying me to move it and not damage it. So it's different when I damage my own stuff. Like when I'm packing my own stuff, that's my fault. It's my stuff. I answer to me, but when we hire other people like this, it, it kind of upset us because we hired them, we paid them, and uh, it was a simple move. We didn't move very far, pretty much across town, and they still damaged some of our stuff. Maybe I'll show it to you in uh, another vlog yet, but not bad, not too bad, but it's, it's like still, like, come on. But that's to be expected, right? When you when you move, things get damaged, and I've, I know what that's, I, can't hold it against them, just can't fix it now. So, so what's done is done, so we'll be okay. Anyways, let's get on with today's video. I've already been yapping here for three minutes. These are the last two days leading up to the move. The next video will be the actual move after that. I'll see you then. Timmy's. Good morning, everybody. Two more days. When I'm filming this, it's two more days. So we're 
moving on a Wednesday. I'm filming this on a Monday. We've pretty much got the whole house packed up already. We've got the whole shop packed up for the most part. It's, it's still just like it was before, but it's in boxes. So today's uh, assignment, is we've got to go to the shop and move all of those boxes from the back to the front in front of the truck and then move Old Blue back so that everything is easy to grab because our movers are going to come and grab everything from the house and then they're going to go over to the shop and grab everything from the shop and I want everything to be right at the front and really easy for them to grab so it's as quick as possible. But first we need to start the day off right and get ourselves some Timmy's. We packed up pretty much the whole kitchen already so we're going to be eating out for the next two days and that's fine. Oh, I'm just excited to get this all over with and done with. It hasn't been that stressful, like we've been planning this pretty well, but uh, I'm just anxious to, for everything to go smoothly, you know? The big day's coming. It's gonna be here quick. At home, pretty much the only thing I really need to do is still, I, I need to take down the final little bit of the frame of our gazebo and take that down. It shouldn't take too long, but now that there's snow outside, I wasn't expecting the snow to stick around. Looks like the snow is sticking around. Everything's going to be all frozen together now. It's going to be a little bit harder to get apart. Oh well. We'll get the day started here and uh, we'll focus on our one task for today, which is organize the shop and get everything to the front of the shop. We also might have to get it all into sealed containers or boxes so that the movers will take it. They won't take it unless if it's in a sealed box or sealed container. I don't even know how big the mover's truck is. I hope it's pretty big. I hope it's not a tiny little van. Like we're gonna need like a pretty big straight truck at least. We got a lot of stuff. I also rented a, a U-Haul trailer, a six by 12 U-Haul trailer, just to pick up the odds and ends that uh, didn't make it in there. Maybe we can't fit everything. I have that trailer, I'm picking that up tomorrow. And I have that for the rest of the week to finish up if I need to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be delicious. Can't wait to get home and eat it. I think we're ready. We've got to take this box back to the house. That's for our big TV in the living room. Tell me to get that a little bit later. Right now, I'm just here to get my winter gear because apparently winter's upon us and I wasn't quite prepared. I know, it's Canadian, I wasn't prepared. Even Canadians are like, what is going on when it snows like this before Halloween? Like, Why? We got like a foot of snow on the ground, at least. Snow drifts everywhere. I've got to dig out this shop in the morning so that the movers can get in here. <laughs> There's a big snow drift out in front of... Even I'm like, oh, I think it's a little bit over the top and a little crazy, but... Okay, so uh, yesterday... I know I'm skipping around on my days here, but we're sort of summing up the whole process moving up towards the move or coming up to the move in sort of one video. But uh, we got all of our stuff from the back up to here. This is all going to the new house. Old Blue is sitting back a little bit further than usual. And this is what we got back here for now. And come back and organize this at some other point but a huge big pile of boxes is now finally leaving the shop so i'm just dropping by here right now we're getting everything packed up when i'm filming this it's the day before the move the day before so i am coming back later to get that box for the tv because that'll be one of the last things we pack obviously you need a tv right to the very end right and that'll be one of the first things we mount and put up at the new house because you need a tv right off the bat right immediately immediately you need a tv maybe that's just me but get all this stuff out of here and uh go from there it's getting exciting guys i know the vlogs are sort of like gonna be hopping all over the place uh, i've been at home for several well, few days now already we've got most of everything packed uh i've been focusing on that Getting excited. What did I come here for now again? Yes, I need my winter boots because I wasn't expecting to need them yet. So I need to get my winter shoes, my winter boots. I need to get a box for that tabletop baby dishwasher that we use for the baby dish, uh, baby dishes. Uh, there's something else that I came here for. I told my wife I would not forget and that I did not need a list. So I don't need a list. Winter shoes, 
gloves, winter gloves for me because I got to do a lot of shoveling. I got to shovel out our whole yard now so that the movers can get to the house without, you know, trudging through snow. Again, I wasn't expecting the snow. I'll figure it out, you know, figure it out. But yeah, there's a little update. Campers in here, we'll get it ready for uh, rentals next season, but that's uh, several months away yet. Getting excited. So we've got the stuff we needed back at home. I had to clear off all the snow off our driveway, off our deck and everything. Got that done so that the, the movers have a nice clean surface to walk on. I don't want them slipping and hurting themselves. So the time has come for me to go pick up the U-Haul trailer now that we're going to be using. Uh, just for the odds and ends, anything that the movers can't take or won't take, or if there's anything... Like I said before, I'd rather have the trailer and not need it than need it and not have it. So I don't want any hiccups or anything slowing us down. I just want to get this move done. We're here at our local U-Haul dealer. Got ourselves all hooked up. Got our trailer all connected, locked on, chains are on, all the lights are working all around, all the marker lights, all the tires are filled with good, good winter air. It's good. We've got Tennessee plates. <laughs> Shout out to my friends in Tennessee. And there's our trailer. That's all we need. That's more than we need, actually. It's perfect. I'm hoping the movers will take pretty much everything, but like I said, just in case, just in case. I don't want any hiccups. I don't want any problems. So, actually, you know, I think, how do I do this? Man? There we go. Locked in. I think, uh, What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our outdoor furniture in this one because I don't want to put our outdoor furniture in the same container or truck as all of our inside stuff with all our boxes. So then it'll melt on the way because there's snow on it now. The snow will melt off and then get the boxes wet. So we'll probably put everything that has snow on it and stuff in here. I'll well, think of a plan, I'll we'll think of a plan. We're all set now though. Everything's about as ready as it'll ever be. <laughs> what do you think, Frank? Are we ready? So the movers get here. At 8.15 tomorrow morning. The time is now about 11 o'clock p.m. We just got everything organized. Ready. Actually, it doesn't look that organized, does it? We have tomorrow morning yet to do the finishing touches. but We have the movers for four hours tomorrow. Uh, so for, I guess from 8.15 to 12.15, or maybe they get here at 8.15, you know, do introductions, shake hands, sign stuff maybe, start at 8.30 to 12.30, I don't know how this works, I've, I've always moved myself, well, that's a lie, I've always had my family help me move, and I'm, I appreciate that, but I've moved a lot, I've moved many times since I moved out of my parents' house, I've moved nine times since I was uh, 18, I moved out of my own, I got my own place when I was 18, and uh, that was in 2006. So now it's 2023 and it's the ninth time I've moved since then. And I want this to be the last time. And my family has been there every single time to help me move without me even asking. Even now, I've hired movers to give them all a break so that they don't have to come and help their brother or their son move again. <laughs> but even now, uh, my mom and dad are getting pretty antsy to help out. <laughs> Mm. They've, <laughs> I know they've been asking here and there in different ways of how they can help and, and they called us tonight and they just said flat out they want to help, what can they do? And we're trying to tell them, no, 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 we got it all taken care of, you guys relax, sit back. All the heavy lifting is taken care of, you guys don't have to do any moving for us. But uh, since we only had the movers for four hours, we have all the stuff over in the shop and we have all the stuff here. If for whatever reason they can't get it all done, 
well then I'll need some help with some stuff. It'll be the last little few things, the lighter things, not the big heavy things. Because this couch over here, this is going in the basement of the new house. We've got to take this all apart. We left it together because I don't know how to take it apart. I'm going to figure it out with the movers. And their policy is if they take it apart, they'll put it back together in the new house. So I thought that was a pretty good policy. I'm going to take them up on that offer. This has all got to go down the, into the basement of our new house. And once you see the new house, you'll see uh, <laughs> why I paid someone to do it for me. <laughs> I paid for it to be someone else's problem. Because the stairs go down. And then a right angle. And then down again. So it's like... Zh, zh. I don't know how they're going to get that stuff down there. But I am paying for that not to be my problem. I trust them. This is what they do for a living. This is their business. I'm pretty sure that they'll be able to handle getting it downstairs. There's also the couch in the nursery. We can't go in there right now. Theo's already sleeping. Uh, but uh, there's that couch in there. It's a hide -a bed It's really heavy. That's got to go into the basement too. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I'm going to move the TV myself. I think every man understands that. I have it packaged back there against the wall behind that table. I'll take care of that one myself. Uh, that one I can get down the stairs. I'll, I'll figure that one out. We're just about there, so tomorrow's the big day. Hope you guys tune in. I mean, I know you guys are probably here mostly for trucking stuff, and that's mostly what I do, but this is, this is a big event in my life. Uh, uh, it's one of those big life events that's sort of pivotal to our future. Our whole future changes after tomorrow when we get into a new forever home that's actually big enough for us to breathe in and grow our family and be comfortable in. So I hope you guys tune in and join us. I'll put some good effort into it and hopefully it turns out well. Uh, I know all of these vlogs leading up to uh, leading up to the move has sort of been all over the place. We've been very busy but uh, looking forward to it so I'll see you tomorrow so remember when you're out there drive safe see you tomorrow for the big day